Uh, uh, hello, this is a solution to problem one of tutorial two. Right, uh, so here we have a function of two variables and we are supposed to use the definition of partial derivatives to evaluate its partial derivative with respect to x. Right, so how do we do that? Uh, basically, uh, since the partial derivative is with respect to x, it means that we've got to uh, to look at the change um, between, uh, you know, the, the value at x plus h and y and the value at x, y. Right, so we've got to find the limit uh, as h approaches 0 of the following expression. So the limit as h approaches 0. So first we need to find f of x plus h comma y, right? So th this is going to be, uh, well, so what is f of x plus h comma y? So we, we just need to replace x with x plus h. So x plus h squared plus x plus h square root of what y squared plus 3 uh, minus x square plus x and square root of y square plus 3. And everything should be divided by h. Right, so let me just uh, sort of highlight that this expression is, is really f of x plus h comma 1. And this expression is f of x comma 1. All right, so now we just need to, to simplify this. Okay, so this uh, equals uh, the limit still as h goes to zero. Uh, then we just open it up, so x plus h squared. So we've got to use the formula from uh, secondary school, you know, um, x squared plus two x h plus h squared plus, well, x plus h, I, I guess we'll just expand it. So x times square root of y squared plus 3 minus h times the same thing, square root of y squared plus 3. So minus, and again, we will just expand it, so minus x squared minus x square root of y squared plus 3. I, I hope my handwriting is, is not too bad. I will try, maybe, okay. I guess it's still comprehensible. All right, so everything should be divided by h. Right. Okay. So let, 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 let's see uh, what we can uh, do to simplify this. Uh, there is x square minus x square, so it cancels out. Or maybe, um, yeah. Maybe let me just just erase. Minus x square cancels out. All right. So then uh, there is x times y square plus three minus the same thing, so it cancels out. Um, erase this. Okay, so now now it's getting better. Now that there is a division by h, right? So I guess cancels out here. So let me erase this. And the remaining part is is not too scary, I hope. So I guess, um, what do we do? So we just take the limit as h goes to zero, which, which really means we just let h go zero here, and the final answer is just two x minus square root y square plus three. Okay, so that was the first part. Let's do the second part in the same way. Well, uh, the second part is at the same time easier and harder. Right? So it is easier because uh, here we are given uh, specific values of uh, y and x, right? So this is uh, x is, is 2 and y is negative 1. Yeah, but we've got to differentiate with respect to y rather than x, which is in this case, it kind of turns out to be a little bit um, more subtle. Let, 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 let's do it anyway. So again, so we've got to find the limit uh, as h goes to zero. All right, so first we've got to write, so let, let me do it here. So f of x plus, uh, sorry, since we're differentiating with respect to y, it should be f of x and y plus h. 
So the second thing we need to realize is that x is, is really uh, 2 and y is negative 1. Okay? So we've got to write f of 2 comma negative 1 plus h. And so I've got to replace x with 2. So let me just do it. 2 squared uh, plus 2 times square root of y is negative 1 plus h squared plus all right, so this is f of 2 comma negative 1 plus h, so minus uh, 2 squared plus 2 square root of negative 1 squared plus h. All right, and so, and this is f of 2 comma negative 1. All right, um, so this whole thing should be divided by h. And again, so just to, to highlight that this part here is f of 2 negative 1 plus h. So notice that uh, since we're differentiating with respect to, to y, it means that we've got very y. So um, x is, in, in both cases, is the same. It is just 2. And y uh, varies from uh, negative 1 plus h to, to negative 1. All right. I hope, I hope it makes sense. So this should be the same as the limit as h goes to 0. So let's just try to simplify it a little bit. So 2 squared is, 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 is just 4 plus 2. Then we have this, this square root. Minus 1 plus h is, I guess, uh, is the same as h minus 1 squared. So it's going to be h squared minus 2h plus 1, then plus 3, minus, okay, so minus, again, 4, and then minus 2 times square root of negative 1 squared is, is just 1, plus 4 is uh, plus 3, right, so this, this is really 3, um, so it's just, just 4, yeah, okay, and everything should be divided by h. Okay, so let me do a little bit of simplification here. Uh, plus 4 minus 4 just cancels out, so I will just erase these two. Okay, then 1 plus 3 becomes 4, really. Plus 4. All right, um, and then I guess this square root of 4 becomes 2, times 2 is, is 4. Maybe we can factor out 2, right? So we need to write 2 here. And we can just write this 2 here. Times 2. Okay. Um, so now we've uh, got a bit of a problem. So we need to find this limit as h goes to 0. And here you've got to recall how to do it from your um, mathematics 1. So Dr. Tan was supposed to teach you that. Um, basically, the idea is to rationalize the uh, numerator. Now, yeah, let, 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 let me explain what, what the problem is. So if you try to substitute h equals 0 directly into this um, equation, then you will run into, into trouble, right? So because you will get a 0 squared minus 2 times 0 plus 4, square root of that, minus 2 divided by h. Uh, as h goes to 0, so t divided by 0, and uh, the numerator is really just 2 minus 2, which is 0, so then this is just like 0 over 0. Um, and in order to compute limits of the type 0 over 0, um, basically we have a number of techniques, and the simplest uh, one that, that we have here is to multiply and divide by the algebraic conjugate. Right? So, so what is this algebraic conjugate? Uh, so we have the difference of two expressions, and basically we've got to multiply by the sum of these two expressions. So let me explain how we can do it. So limit as h goes to 0 of... So now first I will just copy the, this whole thing. So h squared minus 2h plus 4 minus 2 uh, divided by h. Then I, I will factor out 2 just outside of the limit. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply the, this whole thing by uh, the sum of the same two expressions, right? So I'm going to multiply it by 
h square minus 2h plus 4 plus 2. And of course, I've got to divide by the same thing, so to keep it, um, the expression the same. All right. Okay, so this is how we do it. Now, uh, why does it, why is it going to help? Is because, you know, um, now in the numerator, we have basically an expression of the form, uh, the difference of two things times the sum of two things, right? So it looks like something like a minus b times a plus b. And we know that this is really a squared minus b squared. So, and why does it help is because uh, the whole kind of issue is that we have a square root and we, when we square it, it just disappears, right? So, and the whole thing becomes uh, irrational. So, let me continue. So the limit as h approaches zero. Now the uh, numerator is going to be um, basically the square root of h squared minus 2h plus 4 squared minus 2 squared divided by h times square root of h squared minus 2h plus 4 plus 2. All right. Okay, cool. Um, so when we square a square root, basically what we get is just the uh, the expression inside the root. Right? So let me just, just do this. Let me just erase this. And minus 2 squared, so 2 squared is, is just 4. So okay, minus 4. All right. But now we've got plus 4 minus 4. So again, we can just erase this. And now we have a division by h, so we can cancel by h. So we've got can divide by h here and here and uh, there was minus two here all right and now we can just substitute h equal zero directly into this equation right so this is really uh, two times zero minus two the denominator and the denominator is square root of 0 squared minus 2 times 0 plus 4 plus 2. All right, so this is 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 divided by 2 plus 2, so which is negative 1. Okay, so the answer is negative 1. Let me just check. Is it correct? Yeah, it is negative 1, and that's the end of my solution of problem one.